What's up? What's up, everyone? Russell here, and welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2. And guys, on that last episode, we were building this right here, and this right here is the finished product of that build. And I like the way it turned out. I, it looks good. I think it's, I think it's great. We don't have our jetpack with us, so we can't really do any flying around. It's over here charging up. It seems I need to get into uh, some flight because I'm telling you, this thing's only charging at 373 RF per tick, which is just poor, just horribly bad. But guys, on this episode, what we're going to work on is the building of the new mob farm. Now, uh oh, let me go backwards. Let me go ahead and between episodes, I took down the old one. And I've actually done a lot of cleaning up. Um, all the barrels that were down there are now gone. They're now, I had a system set up right here that auto packaged all the all the ores and you know hammered them out and did this and did that. That's all gone. I mean, it, it, as of right now, you can see we are working on nickel. Which is the very last thing we worked on. But yeah, that's gone. And in between the episodes, some in my free time, I'm actually going to work on killing off that whole platform. I'm going to take the take the animals, put them in safari nets. And if you look, my problem is is I need to move that I need to move that nether portal. Uh, that, that portal. Uh, I need to move it, actually. I need to move it up here somewhere. But I really haven't... You know, I don't know how that all works. But pretty much what I would like for it to, to be is... If you look right there where my crosshairs are... Just right on the other side of that right there. Run a straight line out. And that be the only platform that's down there. And that's going to be all for lava generation. We're going to take the smelter up. Uh, the smelter's going to go away. And it'll be the bottom platform over there and the top platform over there. And that's going to be pretty much it. And, and I think this right here can house all the lava generation we need. Because what I would like to do is actually technically like move out this direction. And start with some solar. Or maybe like uh, people have been telling me I need to do some big reactors. So we do that. But in this episode, guys, what we're going to work on is going to be the mob farm we need to get it back up and running and what we're going to do is we're going to work on the how i say this we're going to work on turning bones into bone meal and then turning bone meal into bags of meal or i think it's what it's called it's called bags of meal yeah, right there it is. Bone meal bag, not bad. We'll work on that. We're also going to work on an auto system for creating brain jerky. Now, that is my source. That is my main source of food intake, and the reason being is because it's so available. I've literally got a chest down here that I need to suck into the system, but I don't want to do it yet because I want to take and put it over here. For when the mob farm runs, it produces brain jerky. Now, I was told that you could take and put, like, um, transfer pipe above the drying racks and below, and it'll automatically put put the put the brain put the uh, zombie brains on the drying rack. And when it's done turning into brain jerky, it'll actually suck it back off. So that's what I want to work on. I also want to work on taking and turning. Um, zombie flesh into dirt I don't know how much dirt we have but I know it's not a oh, I'll take that back I guess it is quite a bit of dirt I didn't realize I had that much dirt <laughs> that's a lot of dirt <laughs> I didn't really realize it but if you look at rotten flesh got a lot of rotten flesh too so yeah so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to have to get things together 
uh, and figure out exactly how I want to build this thing. It's not going to be as big as the one down there. It doesn't need to be. And what we're probably going to do is if you take and you look at my drums, I've got 42 drums that are completely full. So what we're going to do is we're probably more than likely going to nullify all the essence just because I've got 42 barrels of it. Now, if it comes a time where I'm running out, I will probably get into that. But before I do that, I want to get into a bedrockium drum. This takes bedrockium ingots. This takes triple compressed, quadruple compressed cobblestone. Now, that's a lot. That's 729 cobblestone for a triple and four six thousand five hundred forty one for a um, for cobblestone i don't have auto crafters if i had auto crafters oh my gosh but i don't all i got is crafting tables and see i just don't have i don't have any mechanism to creating I guess I could use that that crafting bench that that production table thing that I had but I don't know so let me do this I just want to give you guys a brief overview of what we're going to do this episode let me get my jetpack back and get some building blocks together because I don't have a clue what I'm going to build it out of yet and then we'll be back in a minute guys welcome back everyone all right so here is the deal I had to do a little bit of ingenuity. <laughs> yeah. You can't see it. Oh, wrong button. But right down there is a little black sheep. And I had one of those. Oh, crap. I don't know what you call it. Um, I don't know. Let me see if I can find it. Well, these are things right here. I had. No. Was that it? Oh, crap. What was it? I... Was that it? I think it was my mystical black pedal. I got two of them from something, and I can't remember what it what it was. But I got a black I, I got a black flower from somewhere, and I made two black petals, and I used one previously. Well, if you put this right here with the pestle and mortar, you can get black dye. Well, just on a whim, I went down there and right clicked that sheep with the um, you can see it right there. I right clicked that sheep with the uh, die and it actually gave me a black sheep okay so then what I did is I made some bronze shears to shear it and it gives me three sheep per or not sheep but three um, wool per and then so you take a okay you take you take your wool that's not it you put it in a pulverizer and I went and made these upgrades they give you like a, a bigger chance of having the, the the secondary output because wool will give you string but there's like a three or four percent chance that it will give you um black black dye it'll give you the 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 black ink and i did the i don't know i bet i did that probably 20 times i mean literally and I got enough, and uh, of course I'm out now, because I screwed up and made all these blocks. Now, I really haven't decided yet how big we're going to make it, but we're going to make it out of black, um, black dye. Not black dye. Black color stone brick, and it looks almost like nether brick. Um... I don't want to do that. Okay, so that's... So... Ah, crap. Yep, I nailed it. Okay, got it right there. What we're going to do is we're actually going to put this thing... I'm actually using blue... One, two, three... Oh, 
Star Wars on it. This is blue. Um, that's where I want her at, right there. All right, so. This is three. That's four. And then this right here is going to run on the fourth one. There we go. right here all right guys and this is it and this is the size of it and then then what's gonna happen is this right here is going to be the floor, and it's going to have those conveyor belts. So I need to go over and get some conveyor belts. User joined your channel. Sorry about that, guys. I'm still inside TeamSpeak. Didn't know it. Um, I don't know which way these things are going to face. Okay, so let's do this. So this is going to be Oh my gosh, I fly up so high. Man, I need to take this up one more. Yep. It needs to go up one more. See why this needs to go up one more, guys, because my killing chamber is going to be this wide, but it's going to hang off the bottom. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to use conveyor belts to push them all into that chamber. And the chamber's got to be too high. And I want to be able to walk up underneath it. And if I leave it the current way it is, I'm not going to be able to walk up underneath it because it's actually going to be at my eye level. I want to be able to put. I want to be able to put like the. Um, stuff, all the stuff like for the. Um, what do you call that? Uh, the. Um, brain jerky. I want to be able to put it up underneath it as well. So, but let me get this started, guys, and then we'll come back and, uh, my crap, and, uh, show this to you, uh, show it off to you guys when, when we get a little bit further along. So, if you can, just, uh, hold your phone, and, uh, we'll be right back in a minute. Welcome back, guys. All right, so, here's what we got so far. It's taken me a little while to get this done, actually. Um, I've got, I had to do what I didn't want to do. I had to decrease, I had to drop this down even more because I just could not get the, uh, the grounders wouldn't work because they got to, they got to spit out their, their liquid up top. So I just put a nullifier up there on both of them. Got a chest right here that's going to take in the input 
All right, and then coming out of that is actually a uh, transfer node, an item transfer node going down. This one actually comes around and actually connects in with this one that comes down right here, and it feeds into, as you can see right there, it feeds into all these right here. Now, what we're going to do is probably move this input. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. I know you guys are probably asking why move the input because shoot what we're going to do in the beginning is we're going to feed everything into one of those big chests and you can see how this right here runs over We'll feed everything into one of those big diamond chests. I think it's diamond chest. Whatever chest it was I created. It's a purple one, I think. And basically what's going to happen is, is we're going to put it right here. Well, as everything comes down this way, everything gets sucked into the appropriate cache. And whatever doesn't get sucked into the cache is going to go right here. And what that's going to do is, that's going to allow me to sit back and, and figure out what I need to create caches for and what I don't. Because we're going to collect bones for a reason I have no clue. And we're also going to do zombie flesh because we're going to use zombie flesh to create dirt. Now, I'm not going to create a big cache for zombie flesh. Now, I know I got zombie flesh right there and it's got a 40,000 cache file on it. This right here is going to be a big cache because I want ender pearls. I want all the ender pearls I can get. I want all the glowstone I can get. And all these little common treasures are going to be an uncommon treasure right there as well. And I might be able to go ahead and take, get an uncommon treasure right here. And then put this up here. And I don't, I don't want, well, I'll take, I'll take these. Um, I do not need those. Sugar and bones. That's where those other two went. Oh, I know how I got those. Okay. There's eight of those. There's those. Now, I don't want that many. And you know, I don't know what I would need gunpowder for. But what we're going to do, I know I got sticks which we don't need a lot of what we're probably going to end up doing is creating some barrels over here some better barrels that'll hold just like the stuff we want only want small amounts of like this uh this rotten flesh probably a barrel would probably be good uh, you know a barrel of brains it's probably gonna be good because we just don't need that much of it i mean truthfully we don't need that much of any of this stuff you know what I mean? but you know hey we're just gonna do it anyways just because i felt like it now i'm gonna show you guys this right here is called red net this is actually different this was actually not the stuff i was thinking about i've seen i've seen everybody use i've seen everybody use red alloy it's an alloy wire but we don't have alloy wire so we got this this redneck cable and the reason why we're going to run redneck cable is because I want a way to turn this thing off and on so basically flip the lever and it and it runs through the cable up now pretty pretty cool if you ask me so but now I believe that we are ready to start with the exception of the chest and this is gonna be the same chest we had this purple one right here we had in the old old one welcome back everyone all right so here it is in its entirety and it is running it's working we're getting a few a little bit of this a little bit of that you know what I mean? but um what we're gonna work on is we're gonna try 
and build, I think, yep. Take this right here off. We'll build this drying rack system. What we do is we take and supposedly we run. All right. And you take one of these. Let me hold the phone. That ain't right. And you take one of these. What? That's no joke. It does. I don't want it to be like that, though. I want it to be this way. No, man, I don't want it like that. All right, you know what we need to do then? All this fills. The wall. That is freaking amazing. And then supposedly you take one of these doohickey bob things right here. And you don't do like that right there. You're supposed to take and put it like, nope. Nope, hold up. Oh man. Oh ho ho, wait a minute. Hold up. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna got it. Let's see if it turns. When it turns, it should suck it in. Um um okay. Shall we cue the Jeopardy music, guys? Do do de, do 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 do. Uh, sorry. Nope. I don't think it's going to turn. That's what we got to do. All right. Razzle knows what we got to do. Oh, man. We're going to have how many of those things we got to have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven of them suckers. We got seven filters. There's two. Three, four. All right, cool beans. Let's go over here and get a zombie. Get a zombie brain. Hold the phone. I can't get it. There we go. Alright. So, we got two zombie brains. So, what we're going to do is we're going to open up this filter. Boom. Zombie brain. So, we come right here. We tell this right here. To only do dried zombie brains. What? Basically, whenever this thing dries up, it should go down inside that that hopper, that that transfer node. We 
if it ever dries. It may not dry. It may not work, guys. All I know is Razzle is hungry. I think I'm on Miss Cacketated. I think it stops it from uh, processing. All right, guys. Well, I know this has been kind of a crazy episode, but we got it built. Next episode, we're gonna pro we may work on uh, doing the the dirt thing, and we're also gonna have to get. Um, I don't know. I don't know about sending the items over to. Uh, to the ME system. I don't know yet. I haven't really decided. If I do, I'm gonna take up all those caches and just load it straight into the to the you know to the ME system. Something else we are gonna do though next episode is we're gonna work on a wireless transmitter for the ME system so that no matter where I'm at on the platform, I can uh, I can get to my ME system. It's getting kind of crazy to have to run all the way back. And I don't know what else we're gonna get into next episode, but Anyways, that's gonna be the end of this episode, guys. So if you like the if you like the video, slap that like button, and if you would share it with the world, and if you haven't done so already, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, guys. This is Razzle, and I'm out.